Yeah, I know. Everybody now, says that. Now, someone like you is also probably going to notice that you like people at first sight, mm -hmm. or you just like them. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have that sense because you should be more aware pretty, than most people. Pretty much so. Yeah, pretty much so. And you, you know? see glowing around people. Uh, at all? Yeah, yeah, I do. Or sense it. Yeah, I sense absolutely. It. Yeah, I do. Boy, this will be fantastic when we do this. Right? <laughs> Where are you located, by the way? I live in Encino here. Okay, that, you're close. We're in Malibu. Oh, are you? Fantastic. Oh, okay. okay, we'll give you a card. I would love to. I would love to do. Okay, it. do you have any particular question of me? I know you're very short on time. But, um, no, you're a very nice man. Oh, okay. You have wonderful <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to make sure that we left you happy and not with any, any doubts or whatever. But you're actually very inspiring to a lot of people, which is why we wanted you on the show. There are so many people I meet across the country that are enamored with the psychism or clairvoyance or the other side yes, or absolutely. spirituality. And there's, there's been such a regimented presentation of what we're allowed to right. believe. Um, I'm out there trying to open up the doors for people and open up their eyes. Great. And I've developed all these techniques to know certain patterns. What was the name of the man who was the first famous person that did this? And I can't, I can't think of his name Ed, now. Ed, Edgar Casey. Yes, yeah, Edgar thank Casey, you. Yeah. That's the one. Sure. Edgar Casey. Very old books. Yeah. Edgar Casey. My husband, Jack Cassidy, my first husband. Oh yes, gosh. Was absolutely oh. enamored with him, right. and uh, you know, and uh, got went to his family, got relics, got books, got things. And believed everything he ever. ever yeah, he was very good. I was invited to speak at their institute, which Were you really? in New York. Yeah. I'll probably do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He was actually one of the first ones that was bold enough to put those that's, things that's out exactly there. That's exactly right. Made a lot, of, lot of predictions, but he also had experiences in many different fields, mm -hmm. which was so great. Um, he didn't necessarily use all of his abilities in the right way. He was too generous. Yes. In which case, he can actually hurt you to some degree. <laughs> yes, I see. Okay. You're doing it the right way. You're just expressing yourself <laughs> with your normal characteristics. Well. I want you to give a word of advice to all those people out there. That, here's an example of what I found. They have talents in them. They sense they do. Now, as a clairvoyant, I can see it. I can instantly tell what they should be doing in life. Mm -hmm. But I'll mention it. Yeah, I did that as a child. Yes. Okay? Do you have any kind of encouragement for these kind of people? Well, I think that they have to keep going back to their true feeling that's okay. in there. And they have to be, you know, my favorite expression is to thine own self be true. Sure. And it's... Do what, what your feeling tells you to do, and you know, if, and your, what your belief tells you. Right. And if there's something back in your in your childhood that you remember so well, exactly. and love doing, and love the feeling that you got, right. then you have to remember that feeling and bring it back now. 